Yes, well, Les Swarbrick from Woody's DIYs here with us this morning. Good morning, Chiles. What are you? What are we doing this morning? Uh, this morning we're going to show um, a new uh, insulation for your roof. Okay. Uh, it's called heat shield. It's supposed to be far, uh, twenty percent at least, superior to the old ones. And we're also going to be showing. The easiest way to repair a burst pipe because if you've got a burst been, pipe with been, the frost. There's been quite a lot of them. Yeah, there's been quite, quite a lot a of them. Yes. So uh, we're going to show you the best way of doing that. That's coming up a little later on. Now we're outside here with Les uh, Swarbrick from Woody's DIY and with the cold snap. Well, hopefully gone, but you never know when they'll return and we should always be planning ahead. And that's what we're looking at. We're looking about insulation and we're going to look about um, piping and how to fix your piping as well. Good morning to you, Les. Morning, Alice. So how tell us about what we have here, first this of all. This is a new installation, heat shield it's called. So it's 20% more efficient than the old system and it's more rigid. So it will stay between your rafters without any fixing at all, just right. cut it and put it in. So it's like, it's quite, yeah. it's quite I've solid. I've got this almost cut through. And by the way, it, this affects some people, it makes them itchy. Yeah, it's it totally actually harmless, does with me. It For some make reason, it just itchy. literally, last it's time I was doing it. Yeah. It doesn't affect me at all. So you can get a pair of disposable overalls, goggles, and a mask, gloves. and gloves, whatever you want to do. But um, don't, don't uh, use it unless you know it doesn't affect. Now, right. I haven't cut this through complete, just an ordinary, uh, Stanley, Stanley knife, knife or whatever and put a board underneath I think I'm right through now and it will fit up in between the rafters it's cut it a little bit too wide and it will stay in place right so simple as that as simple as that and, they, they, and the, it's amazing the heat you save oh, by putting these on. Now, you have other tremendous. ones as well here. You yes, I've got the roll of heat shield there. You can see the way that's marked with a grid on the back. Very easy for cutting. This is the old one. This is uh, the... Well, it's still very efficient. It's yeah. a, it, it, but it's just not quite as efficient as the more modern one. Slightly less expen expensive. No, no, none of them are expensive. And then you have the And that is the a cold tank. water tank jacket. Keep it because if that freezes, you're going to be in trouble. That's that's what and that's what's yeah. happening to an and awful lot of people. Uh, and of recently. course, your pipes. The pipes. Lag the pipes. Ma with lag the, the with pipes the rubber, with, with the rubber. Uh, uh, yeah. Insulation. Okay. Now the thing is, if you've already had problems with your uh, pipes, and you're trying the, to sort. Had, it. I think we sold more uh, equipment in Woody's DIY over the last few weeks for repair and pipes than anything else. Yeah. It was just This is a little cutter. Rather than use a hacksaw, you just tighten it a little bit in and it cuts and it off. Cuts you get it. a perfect cut every time. So that's really good. Rather than a hacksaw, it's a rough and you have to file it down after. Yeah. It's around about 850 or something like that. Right. Um, and then easy to use also. So simple. Yeah. So simple. Um, this is what they call a, re a burst pipe repair. And it just pushes on, literally. Push it on and that's it. That won't leak, it won't come off. No, no equipment required at all. The so only thing you, you need a tool is to take it apart. So you, you actually stick it on both sides of the pipe, and, and that's, that's your it. Pipe it's repaired. done. That's the, the, so you take off the bit that's that's damaged, you cut out and the you bad put bit. that, you put that on, yeah. and that's done. Yeah. How that's much it. are these? That is about thirteen. Uh, have it there on that, have I? 11.14. 11.14. There's a bigger one for three-quarter pipes, so okay. I think that was about So very years. simply done this there. This is a different one, a rigid one. Normally, a, a connection for copper pipe, if the pipe just goes in that much and stops, and if you try to cut a pipe that's rigid, fixed to the wall, yeah. you can't get it on. But this one slides right down, so you can put it down and slide it back up again. And then you tighten and it. And then you tighten the two, the two uh, with right. your spanner. Okay. And that's it, completed. Very good. But it's it, Those two pieces of ingenious work have made it simple for everybody to use. And then they have them in different sizes they have them in also. Different so this sizes. is a, like for different size yeah. things. Yeah. So that, that one would be 1493. That's and three then, quarter. Inch. And then you have the, the larger ones the here, larger obviously, one for, for, for this yeah. as well. Exactly. So you have all different sizes. And you, did you, get, you got an absolute mad rush on it, well, did you? Oh, absolutely ridiculous. Uh, if you ever want to take this apart, you can take it apart with that little tool there, push it onto the pipe, force that back. I haven't got it right. And then the and pipe out. comes out. See, it, it right. grips inside, if you see. There so that's what it is, there. yeah. 
So it's a, a, a perfect system. That's amazing. That's fantastic. And so easily done, as I said, and so many people were affected and are going to continue to be affected because and that it's something that you should always have, but it's so simple yeah. to do. Yeah. And the, the lagging jacket will actually save you so much money over the time that the you use it. The lagging jacket on your cylinder is very, very important, yeah. yes. And, and then for, for yeah. the attic as well. Yeah. Les, as always, a pleasure. Thank you very much for coming Thank you in. Well.